Good morning. I'm Robert Potts, uh, Chancellor at Arkansas State University, Jonesboro. I, too, want to thank all of you who are gathered here for coming to honor these four wonderful universities that so many have built and so many continue to believe in and that continue to serve this state and its people so very well. We're especially pleased to have Governor Beebe participating in this ceremony, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention that he happens to be a graduate of Arkansas State University. <laughs> And I think he represents that transformational power of a university to change lives. And for the good, not only of the individual, but for the communities these people reside in, and in many cases, like Governor Beebe's, for the state as a whole and the nation as a whole. So the visionary leadership of the General Assembly in 1909 is something that we can celebrate today and we can remember. And I want to thank Bob Simpson, Representative Bellamy, I mean, for and his colleagues from our theater department for their presentations today. We certainly appreciate the members of the General Assembly of that time and, and, and the foresight that they had in addition to considering such bills as the space between fence posts when you built a barbed wire fence, which was one of the bills that they considered then, to have this vision for these four institutions. And I want to thank all of the stellar leadership that has come before us. We get to stand up here today and talk about it, but particularly the many trustees, past and present, the administrators, the faculty, the staff, and the students of these institutions that have built them into what they are today instead of self-destructing within six years, as one of the representatives predicted. I want to recognize today uh, uh, five, six people that have been instrumental recently in building us here at Arkansas State to the point we are today. Those are our five trustees. Uh, Mr. Mike Medlock, uh, who I'm not sure is here today, but I know our other four trustees are here. Mr. Mike Gibson, Mrs. Florine Milligan, Mr. Leonard Slinkard, and Mr. Ron Rhodes, and especially Dr. Les Wyatt, the president of the ASU system, who served in my capacity as chief executive officer of the campus and president of the system until I joined the university about two and a half years ago. So I very much want to extend our appreciation for them. Arkansas State University today has grown into a major university. We have on our campus at Jonesboro about 170 programs, academic programs, from two year through the PhD program. We also have about 12,000 of the students registered on our campus. And in our system, we have almost 19,000 students with our other sister campuses in the ASU system. We have had over 63,000 degrees granted from Arkansas State University during its history. And we add about 2,000 graduates a year. And we hope to improve that, Governor, because we know that's one of your goals. So, on behalf of Arkansas State University Jonesboro and its entire family of alumni, faculty, students, friends, and others, we say thank you to the legislature, thank you for your support for all of you that are here, and help us embrace our past as we four institutions over the next year and a half or two years celebrate through various events the wonderful creation and experience of these institutions over 100 years, and then help us imagine our future for the next 100 years. Thank you very much.